In the fall of 2018, I was hanging out with my best friend. At about 11 p.m., I drove him home to drop him off. His house was the fourth house on the right side of his street and was the last house on the end before his street made a U. We turned onto a street. After we turned, my headlights pointed towards his house for a brief second and we saw a figure at the end of his driveway before it disappeared behind his dad's truck. As we drove closer, we could see the feet from the other side of the truck walk up his driveway and go into his garage. We drove up and shined the headlights in his garage, but didn't see anyone. We then drove around, back and shined the headlights in his backyard. Still, there was no one. We even drove a couple laps around the street, but we still didn't see anything at all. So I drove to his house, and he got out and went inside. I went home. My friend told me that when he got inside, he went into his room, which was in the back corner of his house, on the second floor, and listened to music for a couple hours. He then got tired and laid down to go to sleep. Then he heard something hit his window. He went to go look, but didn't see anything. He went back to sleep, but this time faced the window. Again, he heard something hit the window, and when he looked, it appeared to be a rock. He ran to his window and looked out, but saw nothing again. I went back to his house the next day, and he showed me the rocks. We still don't know who it was that we saw that night. I live in a big city. I have a small apartment in downtown. And it's pretty nice, aside from not having a yard. But I like it a lot. I've lived here for three years now. Nothing strange has ever happened to me until last week. One night I woke up in the middle of the night, at 4 o'clock a.m., to hear my front door open. I immediately thought it was an intruder. And I laid there, pretending to be asleep for about 30 minutes. I didn't hear anything at all. So I got up to investigate. When I looked all around my house, nobody was there. Then I looked to see if anything was stolen, and I couldn't find anything. Two days later, when I woke up in the morning, I saw that some of my food was gone, but nothing of value was taken. This happened again the next day. This has all creeped me out. And I'm not sure what I should do. I will keep you all updated. Last winter I was ice fishing up north. There was a really nice, secluded lake that I really liked. You had to go out of the way and walk on a trail to get there. Ice fishing is a hobby that I've always loved to do. And after a long day on the ice, I started to head back to my truck and go home. I got off of the lake and walked on a small trail towards the parking lot. I then saw a man approaching me. When he did, he asked if I could help him with something. I was surprised to see another man out there, as it was usually pretty empty at this lake, which is why I liked it so much. I asked him what it was, and he said his car was having trouble starting. 
I like to think that I'm pretty good with cars. So I said I could take a look at it. And I walk with the man. I was guessing his battery had died from the cold or something. After walking down the path for a while, I could see the parking lot was approaching. But my truck was the only vehicle in the parking lot. I asked him where his car was. He didn't say a word, he just kept walking. He was holding his car keys in his hand. I saw the keys were for a Nissan. And they looked fairly old. I stopped walking and asked him again. He finally said that his car was just down the road. And he needed me to give him a ride to it. I thought it was kind of suspicious, so I asked him more details, like when it broke down and what he was doing here. He said he was coming to fish, but his car broke down about half a mile before he reached the parking lot. I walked to my truck, and the man followed. There were three walking trails, leading out of the parking lot, and one road. Two trails went west, they were both used. And one old one going northeast, in the corner that wasn't used anymore. As I got to my truck, out of the corner of my eye, I saw it look like the end of a car, sticking out behind a tree of the old east trail. It was being mainly blocked by a snow pile from the parking lot being plowed. I started to walk over to it. The man asked me where I was going, I didn't answer. When I got closer, I saw it was an old Nissan. I asked him if this was his car. The man didn't say a word and just walked past me, over to the car, got in it and drove away. It had to be the strangest thing that ever happened to me. When I was in second grade, my favorite part of the school day was recess. My school was kind of out in the country. So we had a large field for recess, that LED to a thick woods. We were not allowed to go in the woods, and were supposed to stay close to the school. One day, me and my best friend Tim were playing catch with the football. We wanted more space, so we went far out by the woods. Tim threw a pass that went over my head, and went into the woods. I went to retrieve the ball, and when I did, I heard something moving. I figured it would be a deer, and I wanted to see it. So I walked a little farther. When I did, I looked around and saw what appeared to be a man, hiding behind a tree, looking at me. He looked kind of old. I just stared at him, wondering why he was out in the woods. After a couple seconds, he got out from behind the tree and smiled at me and then waved me over. This creeped me out, and I turned and ran as fast as I could, out of the woods and over to Tim. He asked me what I was doing, and I told him to run. When we got back to the school, I told him what I saw, and we stayed near the school the rest of the day. We never told the teacher about what happened because we are afraid to get in trouble. But looking back, we probably should have. I'm just glad I never saw that man again. Earlier this year, I was really into riding my bike. I ride for about an hour every morning.
down my local streets which were pretty quiet. One day I was about 20 minutes into the ride and saw a car behind me start to approach. I always rode close to the side of the road, so there was plenty of space for cars to pass. However, this car went really slow behind me and then drove so close to me that there was only about three or four feet between us. I moved over to the side of the road as far as I could. They then drove past me. It was a silver Chevy Malibu. I remember, and I was a little irritated, but I kept riding. Not even five minutes later, the car came back from the other direction and passed me again, this time, swerving to my side of the road, in the opposite lane, from what he was supposed to be in, and drove so close to me that it was about six feet from climbing with me. I almost stopped, as I was afraid he might hit me. When he passed, I saw it was a man wearing a black ski mask. Now I was getting a little worried. And I didn't know what this guy's problem was. I thought he might pass me again. And maybe try to hit me. Several minutes later I heard the car behind me again. And looked over my shoulder to see the silver car. This time. I pulled all the way over to the side of the road. Stopped my bike and stood next to him. The car began to speed up then and get closer to me. I stepped off the road as far as I could, before it went into a ditch, which was about four feet of space. The car zoomed past me, and probably 40 or 50 miles per hour, coming just a few feet from me. As soon as it passed, I got on my bike and rode home as fast as I could. I was able to make it home without seeing the car again. I stopped riding for a few weeks. But after that I got back into it again. Nothing like that has ever happened to me before. Or since. <laughs>